all right guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you the process of applying style file for your wms map so for that uh, what we are going to do is we are going to generate the style in qgis and then we are going to apply this style in the uh, leaflet so for for now i have set up uh, the basic uh, leaflet setup here uh, I, I link the leaflet CSS link and then I provide some uh, margin and padding like styling tags and I, I loaded a leaflet JS and jQuery and then I, I loaded the one layer uh, called LP 2020 A1 S0 if I view my layer so let me go live and then if i show my layer uh, my layer will look like this so which is directly coming from geo server so here is my layer lp this one so exactly the same layer we we uh, visualize here so i am going to generate the style file in the qgis and then uh, load it in the uh, in in the our web map so for now uh, I, I generated this style just uh, going to properties and then I go to symbology and I generated this categorized uh, legend based on type value and then I have this random colors classified and then I click to apply so I just want to save this style so for saving style you have to choose the SLD style file and then you have to provide the location so i'll uh, write it as sld1 maybe categorize sld0 rized dot sld and then i just need to save it okay now i'll generate the uh, classified uh, legend as well so for that uh, i'll select the graduate color and then based on maybe people okay so symbol okay color ramp may be different color ramp and then i'll classify it it will look like this and then if i click okay then our legend will look like this so map style will look like this so i just want to save this style by default so let me save this style in the sld format so maybe this one is I write it is classified okay and then click okay okay so let me generate the one more style that means just the single legend style uh, filled by red color and then just save this is the SLD and then SLD normal okay sld normal dot sld okay so uh, now i i generated the three styles so i'll what i'll do is i'll write the code in the uh, my leaflet application so that we can render all three kind of style uh, from uh, leaflet uh, we are not going to deal with our geo server uh, in the back end one manual process will be like we can upload the styles here by add new style we can upload three styles and then we can change it through leaflet but uh, what i'm going to show you is i'll just add these styles here and then after that we can change these uh, layers uh, change the style from our leaflet code so let me go to the uh, desktop so here are my three styles maybe i'll just cut it uh, cut it and then paste it here styles and then i'll go to the okay here okay so now i have these three styles so maybe i'll uh, just for example i'll just copy this style and then paste it 
SLD1 and then I'll just need to back tilt and then I'll just SLD1 and then I'll provide the SLD2 maybe I should write par is the variable so I'll write var SLD2 equal to maybe categorize on oh it's quite long so let's see select all copy and then SLD2 will be sorry this one and then similarly we can write for SLD3 SLD3 will be our classified one so just copy this all and then paste it here so one thing you have to change here is you have to just change the name of the uh, layer so for me the name is like we have to provide the same name from geo server so that means our layer name is topo lp 2020 a1 s0 so just copy this line and then just replace the name so just replace the name and then also here you need to replace this name and uh, this one is quite long style and then here also we have to change the name so now our style is already added here so now for loading this style the uh, basic way is to you have to provide the SLD body uh, parameter here and then you have to provide the style so for example uh, if I set the uh, set here SLD body tag like this and then I provide the SLD one uh, normal which is normal SLD then if you click save then maybe uh, in the webgis if you reload it it will uh, reload our style exactly similar to the our uh, qgis style which is from here so in this way you can update the styles uh, let me try the categorize one maybe style 2 style 3 first let me try this so nothing is appear if you check the console uh, here you got the error message called the server response with status code 414 that means i think it's the error of uri too long so if you check here what it will the leaflet will do is it will append our all the uh, all the this attributes parameters in the url so uh, we provide this all things these things uh, will be automatically append to the url and then uh, the URL is quite long that's why because we provide the this long text uh, it's automatically URL encoded and then it's quite long so so if you check the uh, geo server geo server uh, I think uh, geo server log file so here you got the error message URI is too large so this error uh, happen in the jetty server so if you are in the jetty server you can easily manage this error by simply going to uh, local disk c and then simply you have to uh, go to the your geo server installation and then you have to change the uh, start.ini file so i'll drag here so okay so here uh, the you can you have to change the response header size so for now we have response uh, request size is 8192 but uh, it means uh, like 8 kb nearly 8 kb so it's it's little bit uh, we have to increase it little bit so that our uh, uri will be uh, able to append this url so just I'll add the 00, 0 and I'll just save it so 
okay i will just save it so after that i think uh, you need to restart the geo server so i will just close this and then i will again uh, restart the server so here from bean directory i have to restart it run as administrator and then now the geo server is restarting so uh, i think after that we can load this style so that means we, we will uh, now the geo server can handle this long uri url as well so let me wait some time i think it's already started now refresh okay now great so I now you will get this style which is uh, directly from our visual studio code so from this style so this uh, classified style so in that way if you try to load the categorized style let me try sld2 maybe <laughs> still the size is quite long i i also need to try okay now uh, style 2 is also working fine so that means uh, you can you can provide the style sld files uh, generated from qgis and store it as the variable and just you need to change the name of the layer so name of the layer exactly same to the your layer name and then you can just apply your style of the map dynamically using this okay so in that way you can apply your style so i think i'll i'll provide you this all styles and code in the description below so you may uh, you can do it by yourself and also if uh, i also check the url length for tomcat so by default tomcat has 65 kb i think that means quite huge uh, we in the jetty server we have uh, nearly 8 kb uh, so maybe maybe in jetty in tomcat you won't be face this issue so yeah so that's all about this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next